What is actually in your tap water? Probably more than you think. From chlorine in heavy metals to invisible dissolved solids, most of us are drinking water that's technically safe, but not exactly ideal. That's what got me curious about reverse osmosis, and more specifically, the Jimmy B. Winch R9 reverse osmosis machine. So I ran it through a series of tests, and the results were quite interesting. Let's find out more. Full disclosure, this video is sponsored by Jimmy, but as always, the review is entirely my own. I, I do not take on sponsorships unless I have full editorial control, which means what you're about to hear comes directly from my own testing and honest opinion. So today I'm reviewing the Bewinch R9 countertop reverse osmosis filtration machine. It's a slim, modern unit designed to fit easily on your kitchen counter without any plumbing necessary. So there's absolutely no installation needed. You just plug it in and, and start filtering. Therefore, it prioritizes convenience and, and setup free operation, making it ideal for apartments, offices, or homes without a dedicated water line. Now, before we get into what this machine does, let's quickly talk about reverse osmosis or RO. RO is a filtration process that pushes water through a permeable membrane to remove dissolved solids, heavy metals, certain chemicals, and even some microorganisms. It's one of the most effective methods for purifying drinking water, and it's the core of how the Jimmy R9 works. This machine actually uses a three-stage filtration system. So first there's the microfiber and activated carbon composite filter. That's your pre-filter. So it, it removes sediment, rust, chlorine, odors, and, and discoloration. And its job is to catch the big stuff early on and ease the burden on the next filter, which is the reverse osmosis membrane filter. And this is where the fine filtration happens. The membrane in the R9 has a filtration precision of 0.0001 microns. And, and that's small enough to remove most bacteria, a lot of viruses and heavy metals and stuff like that. So the water that passes through here is ultra purified. And then finally, there's a coconut activated carbon mineralization filter. And that one adds a small amount of minerals back into the water. And these trace minerals can slightly enhance the taste and balance the pH of the ultra pure water, making it not only clean, but also enjoyable to drink. So the last filter actually improves the taste and, and brings it closer to the profile of bottled mineral water without overwhelming the purity that reverse osmosis delivers. Now, to put all this to the test, I ran a set of experiments simulating a high level of common water impurities. What I actually did is I, I mixed instant coffee to darken the water. I added cornstarch to add cloudiness. I added salt to increase the total dissolved solids or TDS. I added baking soda to boost the pH and I added bleach to spike the chlorine levels. And, and the goal was to test how the R9 handles extreme cases of what you might find in poor tap water. And the before and after results were striking. And as you can see, the dirty water tank and the color of that water, as that is going through the filtration system, and look at the color of the clean water tank or the filtered water tank, perfectly clear. And this is supported by numbers as well. So I poured some of that dirty water into the control cup and then some of the filtered water into the experiment glass. And starting with the TDS, and that's the total dissolved solids, and you can see the reading was over 1800 ppm, and that's parts per million in the dirty water, whereas in the clean water tank, it, it dropped dramatically to just 54 ppm. The pH level, which started at 7.75, increased slightly to 8.2, and, and this might seem counterintuitive since the RO often lowers the pH, but the rise here is probably due to the remineralization filter, which adds a touch of alkaline minerals, and that's normal and, and completely safe. I also checked the electrical connectivity, which dropped from 3,450 to just 125, another clear indicator of how much was removed. And then on top of that, I used multi-parameter test strips. And in the control group, as you can see, the unfiltered water, the levels for everything were visibly high, and after filtration, all of those levels dropped significantly. In my second test, I added an even higher dose of chlorine or, or bleach to simulate an extreme case of water treatment, and the filter still performed impressively. Chlorine was nearly undetectable, hardness was vastly reduced, and, and the water was visibly clear and colorless. Now, I wanted to take this test even further to a higher extreme. So what I did, I went to the Seine River in Paris and collected some water there, 
and I ran it through the filtration machine. Now, as you can see, I also used the test strips and there's a notable improvement on multiple fronts. But what I was more interested in was the presence of E. coli bacteria in the test water. So I got a coliform E. coli bacteria test kit. I filled the control tube with water from the river and the experiment one with the filtered water. And I waited a couple of days and, and look what happened. Initially, the color of the water was transparent in both tubes. But after a couple of days, look at the color of the water in the control tube. This is the river water. It turned blue or, or green to indicate a significant presence of E. coli in that water, while the filtered water in the experiment tube remained transparent to indicate there was no presence of E. coli detected, which means the E. coli bacteria that was initially present in the water was filtered out through the reverse osmosis membrane. Now let's look at the machine itself. It comes with a five liter water reservoir. That's the one you fill with the dirty or unfiltered water and two one liter detachable jugs for the clean or filtered water. That way you can store one jug in the fridge, for example, for cold water, while the other one is on the machine and ready to dispense hot water. There's a touch control panel, which is very clean and intuitive with six temperature presets. We've got 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, and 98 degrees Celsius. And I actually tested the hot water setting and it was impressively close to the advertised temperatures as confirmed with a thermometer. And then you also have six preset volumes from 60 milliliters all the way up to 500 milliliters. And as this is a countertop machine that prioritizes ease of use, installing the filters or changing the filters is extremely easy. You just twist them in or, or out to change them. So filter maintenance is minimal. And according to Jimmy, the first and third filters should be replaced every 12 months, while the RO membrane can last up to 24 months, depending on usage. The nice thing is that there is an indicator for all three filters on the display, which tells you when it's time to change them. When you're dispensing water, there's a light that lights up either blue when you're dispensing room temperature water or red when it's hot water, which is a nice touch. There's also a built-in UV light at the base of the clean water jug. Now here I need to mention something while well, some RO units use UV lights to actively disinfect and, and destroy viruses and bacteria that might slip past the membrane. This one doesn't. It's a low powered UV chip placed at the bottom of the jug. And that's important because it, its placement is not going to get the entire jug. It's just concentrated at the lower part, but also it being low powered is also not going to deactivate viruses and, and not going to destroy them because that typically requires a high power UV light. Unless there's a very long exposure time, because then even a low powered UV light might still do the job. But either way, the placement at the lower end of the jug that does not get you full coverage across the entire one liter tank. So it's not meant to sterilize the water but rather to slow or prevent bacteria and regrowth if the water is left sitting in the jug for extended periods. So it's more of a maintenance thing than a disinfection one. Still, it's better than nothing. Now, one of the features I really appreciate is the built-in TDS monitor. It, it shows you the real-time TDS readings for both the dirty water and the purified water. And you will notice one thing, and if you keep popping off the dirty water tank without emptying it, the TDS will climb over time. And that is because RO generates wastewater containing the rejected contaminants. And typically that's drained out, but because this is a countertop machine and there's no drainage system, the wastewater is actually recycled back into the tank. This is why the TDS count continues climbing. And that's not a flaw, just the nature of a plumbing free RO machine. And that is why it is important to dump the remaining water when refilling the tank rather than just topping it off. And the machine is smart enough to alert you with an alarm if the TDS count ever exceeds 999, which is a good safety feature. My final thoughts, and I think this is a great machine. It works. It looks great on the counter. It's quite slim. And I really like the digital controls and the hot water presets. That said, if I had to nitpick or offer a wish list, there are a few things I'd love to see. It's not particularly a critique of this particular machine, but maybe some thoughts or ideas for Jimmy for a future generation product, or maybe for an R9 Pro version of this machine. So first of all, I would like to see a more powerful UV disinfection system. Ideally one that's even placed inside the machine at the water outlet. So just before the clean water reaches the jug, and that way, all the water would be exposed to UVC light as it flows through, ensuring any remaining bacteria or viruses that slip through the RO membrane 
get inactivated right before dispensing. And the fact that it's inside and at the water flow means on the one hand there's no external exposure, but also it guarantees that all the water is being subjected to that UV light rather than drawing on the placement at the water jug and risk the UV lights not reaching the full jug. And if the UV output was strong enough and it had the, the right wavelength, it could more confidently and effectively treat water as considered non-potable. Though, to be clear, that is not what this machine claims to do. But again, maybe if there's a pro version down the line, I think this could be a powerful addition. And then another wish list, perhaps, of that pro version would be cold water. Now, the R9 dispenses room temperature and hot water. Personally, if I had to choose between the two, cold or hot water, I'd pick hot water. It's just more convenient to have near boiling water on demand for tea or coffee or anything of the sort. Whereas getting cold water is as easy as tossing a bottle on the fridge. So if I had to choose between the two, I would pick having hot water over cold water. But if it came with both hot and cold water, that would have been the perfect all-in-one countertop hydration machine. But overall, still, without these features, the R9 does exactly what it claims to do. It takes your existing tap water, runs it through a powerful three-stage reverse osmosis system, adds beneficial minerals and gives you clean, great tasting water that's easy to dispense at different temperatures and quantities. And it's compact, it's easy to maintain, and it looks really nice on your countertop, and the filtration works, as we saw in the tests. Now, beyond the scientific tests that I tried to make, a non-scientific one, but worth mentioning, I compared the taste of my tap water, which is already safe to drink, with water from the R9 machine, and, and the difference in taste was, was clear. The filtered water tasted noticeably better and, and smoother. Now, I also have a fridge filter, which improves the taste, but the R9's water tasted just a little bit better than my fridge filter as well, a bit fresher and a bit more balanced. So that's it for me and the Jimmy R9 reverse osmosis machine. I'll put links in the description to the product page of the R9, if you do decide to purchase this, I would appreciate if you would go through these links. These are affiliate links, so I may earn a commission at absolutely no extra cost to you, but this will greatly help support the channel. Thanks for watching. If you liked the review, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel as this encourages me to continue producing content. Till next time, cheers.